All right, everyone. Happy Friday. It is Friday the 13th, 2020 edition. So who knows what's going to happen this weekend. Uh, so we want to start off today with some really, really positive vibes uh, since it is a Friday the 13th and it's 2020 day. It is your weekend inspiration here for you. Every Friday I put this video out. Remember that for everybody new watching. I've got a lot of new people all of a sudden watching, which is great. It's cool. Um, and thank you guys for watching every Friday to me ramble on and give you guys some positive information and some positive outlook and positive vibes for, you know, the weekend. Um, I've had a lot of people reach out and say that they really like these videos and it helps them kind of, you know, wrap up the week, get through the weekend and be motivated uh, to move forward, uh, you know, through the weekend and start the next week. So one of the main things that um, I wanted to talk about today was just doing something to do something like do, being nice is, is really kind of my thing um, <clears throat> is putting out good in the world. And that's one of the main things with our company that we like to do. Uh, being on advertising, being on university, there's my shameless plug, okay? Uh, but we put a lot of stuff out there, a lot of content out there for free. We put a lot of help out there. So if you're watching this and you're an agent, you're interested in what we might be able to do for you or anything that we might be able to help you with, um, just go to our website. It's beknownadvertising.com. Schedule a consultation with me um, or one of the guys, and we'd be happy to help you out, even if it's not something that, you know, you're going to pay us to do if it's not necessarily a big sales pitch. It's just a consultation. Um, it, it's really a friendly talk. I've had a lot of people that have scheduled consultations be like, oh, man, I thought I was going to get, you know, a sales pitch here and a hard sale or something like that. And this was really actually a nice change. Um, we really honestly just try and get in, in there and figure out what it is that, yeah, of course, what, what can we do for you? But also, you know, what we can do for you that doesn't necessarily mean you exactly have to sign up with us for us to even look at your account or anything like that. So if it's something small and you have a question about it, um, you know, you can obviously schedule an appointment with me and I'd love to talk to you. Um, you know, we'll take a look at your systems. We'll take a look at your stuff and see what we might be able to help you out with, even if it's just pointing you in the right direction um, and, and, you know, not necessarily making you or trying to force you to sign up with us today. Now, of course, we would love to have you signed up with us. We'd love to have you as a client, but that doesn't necessarily mean because you scheduled a consultation, you're going to get on the phone and we're going to hard sell you or something like that. That's not us. We're all about putting a lot of good out into the world and knowing that it's going to return to us. Um, so this is our, our moment right now where we're just putting out a lot of good out into the world um, to try and help our clients, to try and help potential clients, and to try and help people that might not ever be clients of ours uh, for one reason or another. And we're okay with that. Because at one point in time, that person that I might have helped or one of my team members might have helped, uh, you know, would say like a CRM question or, you know, something uh, uh, about, you know, how do I use my Zoom correctly or what's your ideas on social media posts? What do you guys have for that? And we help that person out. And they might not necessarily need our services on everything else, but they just had a question about that and no one would talk to them because they weren't paying them. Um, we'll do it. And the reason for that is, is that I feel like it's going to bring good back to us because we put some good out there. And what that does for, for you know, at least for me, um, is I put that out there and let's say I help uh, Carl over here. Um, it, <laughs> that's kind of cool. Sorry. I'm in my rebel base bunker today. Uh, so kind of cool. Sorry, Star Wars geek. Um, but I put that good out there and I help him and he's talking to somebody else that's in, you know, real estate. Maybe it's a team member of his. Maybe it's, a, you know, his broker. Maybe it's somebody, you know, that, that's a lender. I don't know. Maybe it's just somebody that could use our services. And they happen to mention needing some type of service that he now knows we provide. And he doesn't need us to do that because let's say he's already got that handled or maybe he's got somebody else doing it, whatever. Um, but he goes, I would really recommend these guys. And then I get business just off that referral uh, because I helped him out. And because I did a quick consultation with him and showed him where I saw, you know, loopholes or something in his system or, or help fix his system or something like that. I did it for free. And now he's going to go and tell people that, you know, hey, these guys are great. Um, you know, most people will charge you even, you know, hundred bucks for a consultation or to fix something or something like that. These guys from Beano and Advertising, they just jumped in there and they did it. And you know what? You should call Josh if you really need help with that. Um, so that's that putting the good out into the world. Um, and, you know, if you do that and you keep up with that, I promise you it'll come back tenfold. It always does. It always has for me. And I fully believe in that. Um, so that's the next thing I want to jump to it is belief. And uh, it was something that I was having a conversation with my friend last night. Uh, you know, we're just catching up. 
Uh, shout out Jesus, Jeff, my man, love you, bro. Um, great conversation last night. And he was talking about like beliefs and what, how people have different belief systems and, and things like that. And uh, he goes, you know, I don't care whether you believe in, you know, God or you believe in Jesus or you believe in, you know, whatever the other million things that are out there. But the biggest thing that you should believe in is yourself. And that really kind of bing, light bulb. Um, I've always believed in myself and believed that anything that I'm going to do is going to be successful. And, uh, you know, whether it, it, you think it's successful or not, doesn't matter to me. Um, it's whether I think it's successful and I believe in myself. And I thought that was really just kind of a cool way to look at things that, hey, you're my friend and these other people are my friend and these other people are my friend. And you know what? They might all believe in different stuff and with everything going on in the world today, especially with, you know, I, I'm not even going to mention it. You know what's going on. You're in the world that I'm in. So you know what everything is going on. Um, with everything going on like that, like what does it really come down to um, you know, why can you go and defriend and you're unfriend somebody and delete them and block them and all that just because they believe in something a little bit different than you do or a lot bit different than you do. Um, you know what the biggest belief system that you should have is believing in yourself. Um, and I thought that was a really, really nice, you know, thing that he put out there, whether he meant to do it or not. Um, it really sparked uh, kind of a light bulb for me. Believe in yourself. And that's a, a, a key thing. So going back a little bit uh, to, you know, doing good in the world. I wanted to put this out here because like I said, when I do these videos, um, I kind of spend the week just waiting for something to kind of spark a light bulb. And that's where I come up with my idea for Friday. I honestly just jump on, <clears throat> I'm either on my phone or on my computer, I hit record and I start talking. So none of this is scripted, um, but I did set up two things today. Um, one of them has to do with putting good out in the world um, that I wanted to touch base on. And I'm looking at my phone, it's a quote, and it's from a, you know, one of our clients and a good, good guy. He's amazing uh, realtor out of Scottsdale, Arizona with EXP. Uh, shout out to EXP for their EXP con today, by the way. Congratulations, you guys, on being, uh, you know, growing so quickly. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm a huge EXP fan, by the way. Um, I'm pretty biased towards them. I love their platform. I love their setup. It's not for everybody, but I love their setup. So Scott Marlowe out of Scottsdale, Arizona. You guys, if you're anywhere near Scottsdale and you're looking to you know, purchase a house, if you're looking to list your home, um, if you're thinking about moving to that area, no matter what it is, I would contact, contact Scott Marlowe. Um, but what caught me, and I have it screenshotted here, was something he posted um, yesterday. And it was, a wise man once told me, Marlowe, you give it away in shovels and it comes back to you in wheelbarrows. And that kind of goes along with exactly what I'm saying is that you know if you go and you put this good out in the world and you help people and you do something you know nice and you keep doing something nice and you feel like man i just keep losing the battle uh with with whatever it is with life uh you know my car broke down this is not going wrong my job sucks whatever it is if you keep putting that good out it is eventually going to come back to you in wheelbarrows you hear that he puts it out in shovels it comes back in wheelbarrows okay so i thought that was a really really cool quote so wanted to share that with you guys. Thanks, Scott Marlowe. Um, that was a great one. It caught my interest. So I got to give you a shout out for this weekend inspiration. Um, the final thing I want to leave off on is uh, I'm going to end this with a quote. Uh, well, I guess it's a quote. It's an eight step program that I'm going to throw out there that I think is pretty cool. And it's uh, eight steps to kick ass in life. And I like that. So I saved it over here on my other screen. So I want to read that off to you. I'm going to close with that. But before we close, guys, if you, I had a lot of people reach out to me in the last like week and a half asking about like, oh, these weekend inspiration videos are really cool. Like what other stuff do you have? Um, we started developing a YouTube channel for me. I know some people have subscribed. Uh, you know, I hope that everyone that watches this will subscribe. I broke everything up for now. We're still developing the page. I want to make it kind of cool, put a lot of good stuff in there, a lot of good content. Um, and I'm not really sure how to put like an intro video on there uh, because it's kind of you know, I wouldn't say it's scattered, but I have a, a like a whole playlist of just every weekend inspiration that I've ever made, you know, keep adding to it. So if you guys want to see more weekend inspiration videos and you don't feel like scrolling through my Facebook page and finding it or whatever, feel free or even on the Be Known Advertising page or wherever you find these, um, you can feel free to go to my YouTube channel um, and there is a playlist that's just the weekend inspiration. There's also some other fun stuff in there. Um, for anybody that's been thinking about like joining the Be Known University, where we teach you how to do what we do, uh, there is videos on 
it, it's called BKU in review. So BKU stands for Be Known University and BKA is for Be Known Advertising. But we were doing a series called BKU in review for when we first launched it. And it was where we, I just sat and I interviewed uh, agents that were with the BKU platform and the BKA platform. And I asked them about, you know, what they thought of it, what their favorite part was, what their successes were, what their conversion rates were, um, how well the tech support was. Um, I even asked them to name some bad things about us, which was something that a lot of companies don't do. When you see these other companies that are promoting their product, they never go out and tell you like, oh yeah, this is kind of the crap part that, you know, we're not very good at. Um, I asked each individual agent in these interviews, what was the worst experience you had with us? Or what would you say bad about us if you were asked? So if you're interested in that, that's in its own playlist. It's called BKU in Review, okay? Um, and then the final playlist that I have going on, which is just some random funniness um, in there. Uh, when I first started this channel, it was like six years ago when I actually just started the, the uh, YouTube channel. And I was doing a cross country trip. I was actually moving from West Palm uh, up here to uh, Fallon, Nevada, which is outside of Reno. And now people actually know that Reno is pretty far from Vegas. Thank you to the voter system. Uh, anyways, so I, I started that and we did a few videos on there and we put it in. So there's some funny stuff. Um, I put in, you know, just some randomness. There's a bunch of stuff with me and the dogs. There's a pretty good video of me running around with a bunch of the dogs. And then I put a bunch of the edits of uh, our Tiger King spoof video where I was the advertising king um, instead of Tiger King. Um, and it was pretty funny. Um, we have a couple of the unedited clips in there. And then we actually have the final edits where we actually ran these ads um, on, you know, Facebook and Instagram. We, uh, I think we ran them on Google, things like that. But it's 30 second snippet ads uh, broke down as me as the Tiger King or the advertising king. So if you're looking for a good laugh, I promise you, to, you will not be able to keep a straight face watching that. So just look it up on YouTube. I'm not going to put any links or anything because I don't want to fill these up with links and, and things like that for people to check this out, go do this and buy that. This is the weekend inspiration. So, you know, if you need something to laugh at, look me up on YouTube. It's Josh Paradin. Um, just like my, my name here on Facebook or in Beano and Advertising, wherever you're finding this, um, and go check it out. Give me some feedback. I'd appreciate it if you guys subscribed and liked because the more stuff we have on there, we're going to add a lot more content. There's going to be some tech stuff and it'll be in its own playlist. So I'm kind of splitting it up to where, you know, you'll be able to watch what you want to. If you will feel like you're in a techie mood, go to that playlist. If you feel like you want some inspiration, go for, for this playlist where the weekend inspiration is. If you feel like you just want to laugh at my dumb shenanigans and the silly stuff that, uh, you know, I do, uh, that's another great place. Feel free to laugh at me there. So anyways, let's wrap this up. It is Friday. Okay. So let's wrap this up. I'm going to read off uh, the eight rules to kick ass in life. And I really, really like this guys, uh, because I don't like to go by all of the basic things, um, you know, and, and, and all those really, really basic things. Uh, I, I guess basic bitch things is all you can say. Um, I like to go really outside the box on a lot of stuff I do. And so when I see something that's outside the box like this, I really like it and I wanted to share it with you guys. So I'm gonna move it over here and I'm gonna read this off, okay? Uh, so it's pretty cool. Um, let me bring that up. There we go. Eight rules to kick ass in life. Here we go. <clears throat> Number one, see failure as a beginning and not an end. Okay, that is something I have talked to you guys about before on the weekend inspiration. Um, and it basically breaks down to what you might think is a failure is not necessarily a failure. Let's say you started a business and it didn't work. Um, it's not a failure if you learned from it and learned what to do next time if you gained knowledge. Um, I've had a lot of successful business ventures in my life. I've also had some that failed, um, but they weren't failures to me. They were just failures to anybody that looked at it and said, oh, well, it's not there anymore. So it must not have been successful. Well, they were actually very, very successful in my mind and knowledge. Um, and, and that's exactly what this is saying. See failure as a beginning and not an end. Number two, if you don't go after it, you won't have it. Um, that's a big one I preach about too, is, you know, the closed mouth never gets fed. Uh, if you're just going to sit on your ass all day and hope that, you know, things are going to come to you and that they're just going to get handed to you, it's probably not going to happen. Uh, you know, there is nobody, no giant CEO of, of some company walking around right now going, man, I have just been looking for somebody that is just sitting on their ass on their couch all day going, when's it going to be my turn? If I could find that person, I would hire them immediately and just pay them, you know, a million dollars a year to just not do anything. Um, that's never going to happen. 
So if you want it, you need to go after it and get it. So I like that one. Number three, always do more than is expected of you. Uh, that's a pretty good one. Um, I never try and half-ass anything. Um, I And a lot of my team members as well. I mean, actually, there's nobody on my team that doesn't over-excel. Um, they always want to produce something that's better than what we expected. So for an example, if I'm like, hey, I want you to build me a work portal for, you know, so-and-so that's a client uh, so they can send their team more members into that work portal. Can you make that happen for me? Uh, thank you. Uh, I'll get that in a few days and it will be like more extravagant than I even asked for. I asked for something really basic. They did a bunch of add-ons um, and our whole team kind of works like that is we always want to do more than it's been what's expected of you. So that's a pretty cool one. Number four, assume nothing and question everything. That's a pretty good one. Um, they always do say, if you assume it makes an ass out of you and me, right? Um, so I don't assume anything. Um, and I do do this a lot. I question everything. Um, sometimes to an extent where, you know, it's probably not good because I, I kind of, you know, get myself shaken up or, you know, I kind of have some anxiety over it because I'll be talking to, you know, somebody really important. And, you know, I'm not going to assume that everything's going to go great with that company. I am going to start questioning it and then I get down the rabbit hole and I question it a bit too much. So careful with that one. But it is a good one. Question everything. Have that stuff out there. Number five, make peace with your past or you'll pay for it. Make peace with your past or you'll pay for it. Uh, I'm going to leave that one right there because that one is a hard one for me. Uh, so, you know, I'm working on that myself, personal development, stay with it. Um, but I'm going to leave that out there for you guys to interpret in your way. Number six, stop thinking so much and start acting. Uh, that's a really good one. You know, I, I've said it a million times um, in different business ventures that I've been in. Um, I've said it in this one. A lot of times we've sat down and we've had a really, really great team powwow. And we keep talking about, we're going to do this. And yeah, down the road when we do this, and, and, and this is such a great idea. And really, they're amazing ideas. I'm not going to lie. But with nobody there to implement those and act, uh, you know, they're just an idea. It's not going to get you anywhere. So come up with the ideas. That's great. Stop thinking about it. Do it. Go out there and get it. That's a pretty good one. Uh, number seven, never compare yourself to others. Uh, I really like that one as well, uh, because I get a lot of questions when I'm on a consultation or when I'm talking to somebody and they'll be like, uh, well, I've looked at a couple of other businesses that are uh, comparable to yours. Uh, and I want to know how you compare to them. And I really always end up getting a, a kind of a gasp out of them when I say, well, if you're trying to compare us to another company, there's not a comparison. And, I, you know, we're, you can't compare us to anybody. That's, that's kind of like comparing, a, you know, an apple to an orange because they're both fruit, uh, you know, but they're very, very different. Um, and so I don't feel there's a comparison there. Um, so I usually, I, I always get a gasp out of that um, where they're like, oh, well, uh, how do you figure? It's not being cocky. It's not being, you know, we're conceited or anything. It's the fact that I really honestly don't think you can compare us to anybody. And that's because I, I've used number seven, never compare yourself to others. I do that a lot in my personal life. I do that a lot in business. I do that all the time. That's one I've done for a long, long time. Um, really in my personal life, once I learned to stop comparing myself to others, um, you know, it, it really benefited my entire life, like everything, my own personal outlook on myself, everything. So it's a really good one. Uh, think about that. It doesn't seem that very important, but probably number seven is my favorite one on there. Um, so and number eight is my second favorite one on there. Teach others what you know. Um, I think that's great. Um, and that is, again, why we developed Be Known University was to teach others what we know. Why should we sit and just go, hey, you got to pay me if you want any of this done. And then we're going to go in there and we're going to do it. And you're never going to know. Ha, ha, ha. No, um, we're going to teach you what we did because there is a platform for everybody. There are some people that, you know, can figure out what it is we do. Um, and there's some people that just need, you know, to be able to figure that out. They need some of the stepping stones like a guide. And that's why we built the university was, hey, look, if you don't want to be that person that pays for this service and you want to do it yourself, Here's a learning tool. Uh, there you go. We're going to teach you what it is we do as well. Um, because in the long run, again, that goes all the way back uh, to, you know, uh, teaching people how to do it is going all the way back to putting that good out in the world that I spoke about in the beginning. Um, so, you know, teach others what you know. If you know something and you're teaching them, you're going to be more beneficial from it um, and things are going to come back to you. So that is the weekend inspiration, guys. 
Um, I'm trying to knock it out really, really quickly because there is some stuff going on outside there. There's a guy out there with a flamethrower, like flamethrowing the street. So I'm trying to get that out before, uh, you know, he comes back around flamethrowing the street again and it gets loud. So this is a quick one for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget, if you want to see more of these, like and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just go ahead and look up my name. If you guys have any questions, um, if you want to comment, anything like that, go ahead and do that. Let me know what you guys want me to talk about. If there's something on there, if there's some idea you have you think I should do, uh, go ahead and shoot me a message or put it in the comments, man. I'd love to hear them. And I'd love to do it, knock those videos out for you guys. Have a great weekend, you guys. And be safe out there. It is Friday the 13th, the 2020 edition. We'll see you next Friday.